so I didn't know too much. You know, I, I kind of the big four tackles that everybody had been talking about were kind of on my radar. I had seen them and, and kind of reached out to my agent and stuff to just kind of get his opinion on each of the guys. But um, once we drafted him, I dug a little bit deeper into the research. And, and just from everything I've heard, he's just a hardworking guy that loves to play the game of football. And he's going to try and do everything possible to, you know, put us in the best position to win. And that's really all you can ask from a rookie. If he's going to come in and listen and, and be coachable and, and work hard, um, that's what you can ask from from day one. You know, we've had these uh, Zoom conference calls with him. And, and so far, he's been in tune to those. You know, you don't get as much interaction, you know, on-field interaction as you would um, in a normal off season, but from those he's, he's been dialed in and uh, everything I've done, you know, texting him and talking to him, he seems like he's ready to work. And, and that's, that's really all I can ask in that. And that's all you can learn. Um, once we get under the same roof and, and we can practice together, then we'll learn a lot more. But right now it, it's been uh, it's been a true positive. Tony, talking about Jedrick Wills and uh, with their virtual practices, how, how, how tough do you expect that to be, bud, as uh, we get, get to be prepared and, we don't know how long these, how how much time these players will have to work together. Do you have any reason to think that it'll go well or not go well, or just you're just going to wait and see what happens? Well, first of all, Wes, I want to say I think I saw Joel Batonio uh, riding a horse and buggy down in the Worcester area. Uh, that's an Amish joke, Les. You're, feel free to laugh. Um, oh, thank you for that. that you're was, welcome. It's kind of a. You talking about the beard here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was. That was the joke. All right. It's been a while. Um, no, I, I think it's one of the things that I think is a legitimate concern for this organization. Um, and not that there aren't new coaches and new players getting getting drafted and taking over teams every year. But this, this organization in particular um, is counting on a couple of very young players to, to be good and has a completely new staff. So even if you have been here for a few years, you've been out, you've th this might be your third defensive coordinator, your third offensive coordinator, your third head coach by now. Um, I do think the the virtual aspect of of the learning curve, how how this uh, organization and others in the NFL have had to deal with the pandemic, is, is something that if not could sidetrack this team, could slow down this team in in you know trying to get. In, to improve itself and become a competent organization in the league. 